Okay, so today what I want to do is to carry on with the cryptographic implementation. Uh, and the first thing I wanted to do as part of that is to, after having a bit of a think, rem you know, uh, remove the idea of uh, having separate public and private keys and just do like generic key types, like just faux crypto key. And then based on like the, you know, what they're returned as, you can like figure out that, oh, it's a private key or it's a public key. All they would have is just the size of the key and the key data. And I would also start to use uh, some, in this in, uh, case, Libsodium, which is the actual implementation behind it all, um, has the ability to create read-only bits of memory. So I would actually create a key and set it as that. Rather than having this kind of like weird private public key together thing that I got going on here, and then have to like basically repeat that for every different type of key in the future uh, for each cryptographic implementation and signing and whatever. No, just a generic key, which just, just deals with a single key. And then based on like you as a user, you, you know what type of key it is because you're the one who asked for it to be created and you're passing it around. You know what it is already. I don't need to kind of have this kind of weird complexity hiding around in the back. So to begin with, I need a new, well, like I said, new generic key type. And then another thing I'll, I'll uh, fix up is probably the exchange and the signing. Cause like, this is just creating key pairs. This doesn't actually do deal with key exchanges or actual signing yet. So first off this. Creating a new key type. So I need, of course, this, because it's that. Well, crypto key, I need to include faux handle for that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see what else do we need. I would need... Uh, I need the export actually. So we're going to be exporting these. So for crypto export, and it returns result set. For crypto create key, and it's going to take in. Okay, I need a, some kind of. Do I know? Do I want to specify the type of key it is? ED key, or again, like that may be, that's probably more like, uh, you already know what type of key it is because you requested it. You already have the information. It's up to you to determine like, and when you pass it around, like how you want to it, it to be an explicit or implicit key. So all I would really need is a size T for the, si uh, the key size, the size of the key. And key data, the key size, the key data, and of course, We're returning the key itself. We also have that. We have, of course, for crypto destroy the key. And then I need two other functions to return the key size. Not just a key, it's just a handle. And Boyd Star, so crypto data. So that should be like, that's all we basically need as a very basic implementation, I think. So I need a, a implementation. I need to add that to CMake. So just after hex. So I have a struct type, which is internal, so it's just key. 
Tuktoki. I'll just call it that, I guess. It's got two things, so it's got the size T. Size, it's the size of the key, and then it would have the data embedded behind it somewhere, like at a certain point afterwards. So, uh, okay, this is kind of a so you know, I guess I'll just say for key data, it's kind of embedded, so it's not really there, but I would do that so that. I would at least get the ad, put that there so that's the address of where the key data starts. I think that's how it'll work. Yeah, so both define handle. Um key. Uh crypto key both crypto key. So that's coming in from there. I'll try to save that. Create, create the key, which again is just this stuff, size T. So I need standard definitions to get the size T out. I need to get this to happen. So that at least I'll get start getting um, Clang deal start showing up on this. So I need this stuff. That's great. If size is zero, then I need to return something. Okay, so I need the result dot h. Valid key size. Uh, crypto key equals new key it's going to equal so that this is the sodium stuff so I need utils I believe it is so down here oh it's sodium malloc the size so the th thing about sodium malloc is that it's I wonder if it'll actually show up here no um okay let me grab the uh, web page for it Okay, so here's the thing I'm I'm working with. The sodium malloc is a bit of a special thing. It's not general purpose, but it's and it's slower than malloc, and it's using basically it's using a whole bunch of extra memory and only makes sure that the section memory is accessible. So like um, the allocated region is placed at the end of a page boundary, immediately followed by a guard page or an emulation of supported by the platform. As a result, accessing memory past the end of the region will immediately terminate the application. So the, like, this is basically a bit of a safer thing. And down here somewhere, sodium. Yeah, here, sodium protect memory, read only. Uh, marks a region allocated you as read only. Attempting to modify the data will cause the process to terminate. So the, basically it's a bit of a safer thing. And so like each key will basically have this, will be a lot larger than it has to be because it's running around with um, extra pages. But I think like, you know, generally you don't have that many keys anyways. You'll only have a couple dozen. And like you, yeah. I mean, I could also do read, write, or just no access whatsoever. So that's possible as well, I guess, but I'm not really that interested in that. So that's why I'm using sodium malloc here. We intend to use it anyways. So we got that. We got, say, P new key uh, size equals size. This is the size. Oh, crap. Right, right, right. I need the size of. Ah, yeah, no, it's not going to be quite the size of that. It's going to have to be larger than that. So it's the size of um, crypto key plus. So I'll have a bit of a buffer here. So like this is maybe eight bytes or four bytes or whatever. Then this will be the size of a memory. So that's thirty-two or sixty-four bits. And then, at, but this will also be ensured to be aligned at a boundary. I think, or what if I just do crypto key plus 
and then just do bike. So that could, but that could be four bytes off. That's not so great. Um, hmm. Okay, plus size. Basically that. I'll just do this for now. So that key size is that. P new key equals that. And then I need to mem copy. This requires string dot h. So to the new place, which is uh, p new key. Actually, no, I'd have to, I need a function for doing this anyway. So I just do that now. Okay. Uh, void for crypto boy key. Crypto key key. This just, uh, just converts some. Um, from handle. Sorry, this is struct, right? Struct, struct, struct. Do that key from handle from key. And then we say, hey, this is sodium three of the key. Something like that. <clears throat> Okay, here's the fun one. So fo crypto get e data crypto key. So this is struct crypto key stuff. Um so what I want to do is if I say it's a uint eight t, so it's p key equals that. And then I say, hey, p key plus equals. So we shift it over by size of struct key. And then I just return that. Then I can return this. So this of the get key data of, I need to convert it into the, so key to handle oh, key new key. That's the destination, sources of the key data, time size of size, size bytes. Then after that, I sodium M protect read only. that location and then I return star p key equals p to handle of p turn to fo result that so let's see how much I got wrong there unknown type <clears throat> that's true Too many really fo casts. There we go. Okay, we got that. That will be this is a struct. This is what? Incompatible pointer types. I'll live with that. Invalid key size, struct um, size of that. No, hold on. Oh, I already did that one. That's a warning. I can live with that one. Hmm. No. 
I'll silence that. And then I need to get, I need to add. Invalid key size. So that's alive. That's great. So now that means I need to convert this. So these are gone. It's just going to be replaced with both new key type, which is just that. So we don't have specialized key types. It's just faux key, 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 key. We don't need this anymore. Let's generate those. When I do this, that's still generic, so that can work. Same thing here, right? Key size. I could just, like, do I pass in a key type to this, or do I just not? I don't know. I think maybe I'll just, for now, I'll just keep these. I want to return those new key types from this, though, at least. From these, at least. So I don't need that or that. We don't need that either. Key, key. Key, key. Hmm. I still need some things to state what the key sizes are, don't I? I think. Hmm. Okay, let's... Okay, do I need this assert? Don't worry, I, I'll convert them into a static assert in a moment. What I have uh, is a private key data times, was it crypto sign? Is this a sign? No, this is exchange, isn't it? Is it like a exchange key type or is it just all sign? Ash. Oh, here we go. Scalar Malt. I think this is it. Hold on. Let me uh, double check what's going on. No. Okay. So it should be Crypto Scalar Malt Bytes times and... So scalar malt, scalar bytes. So we got those two things. Those are two are the bytes. This is gonna be so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run basically this side of here, right? Or base. No, I okay, first off I need to generate random data. Do I have random? I have a random, right? Yeah. The foe. I do have. Do I not? Pro crypto generate random data. Do that. In the private data section. Private key data size of private key data. Don't know why format is off. Then we generate the key pair. So I got the private key data. And the public key data. If that fails, then we don't have to do anything yet. 
Then at that point, after this point, we should have a public key and private key generated. Then I want to generate the crypto keys to return. At this point, suppose. You know what? Just for clarity, we do that. So it's very obvious. The full result set is going to first off equal full create key of, uh, we'll say private key first. If results if it's not successful, then I'm going to have to go to we'll go to that, which is going to be a jump point to that where it's like if result dot value not equal for success. Then we'll just uh, do a few things. Okay, so actually, no, first, if it is a success, star key private key equals private key. Star key public key equals public key. Otherwise, private key not equal We do that. Doesn't have to be this because I could just uh, fold this. destroy the key and similarly for the public key. So we got that, and then we kind of want to do the same thing for the public key here. So we got a journey of that, and I want to do public, public, then it gets into this, then it returns that. No, it would return result. And for because we're um this is memory on the stack i want to zero the stack memory oh, do i have a thing for random memory i hmm. i don't think so okay so i'm going to need a extra little bit which is like about memory because there is that function the met uh for up at the top here i think for zeroing memory so the sensitive data in this case is the public and private key that I put on the stack. Now, I don't care um, in the case of here where it may be like half written because I'm not using these. I'm not using these keys anyways. But if I get past that. Maybe maybe I actually I should because maybe it's like half done. I mean, in this case, I'm not using the keys either. I should just always do it. Okay. Result equals that. Just kind of do that. The keys, the, the data, result equals that. So we've got result and... Then we go to that. And then in both of these cases, I would mem zero. Now I just want to like, do I want to mm, extra? You know what? For the moment, I won't because I only have this in one place. So I'll just in here. Sorry. No, not in here. In here, I would just do sodium m zero. The pointer. So that's private key data times the size of 
that. Maybe later I'll change that up. Public key data to that. So that even if the memory on the stack is returned or and still has some whatever data in it, it's zeroed. We don't accidentally lose something. Okay, so we return that. <clears throat> now, should I go ahead with this? You know, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to put the signing key stuff off for the moment. I'm pretty sure I got that done incorrectly, very incorrectly. Uh, so that would mean this signing key pair stuff is gone down here. Key, key. Destroy key, change private key. Whoop, that's not key. Private key, private key. Actually, I want to do things in reverse order because that's what I like to do. Make sure everything's going to build. Um, really? Undefined reference. Okay, so at least uh, test. So, okay, so it runs. It doesn't really do what I want. I need to fix up the key exchange for sure. So, for that, let me check this uh, public key authenticated encryption. Pretty sure this is what I'm looking for. Authenticated encryption. So basically, this is what it's supposed to be. No. Public key signatures. No, I'm not doing signatures quite yet. Secret key. No. Okay, this is what I think I'm looking for. Point scalar multiplication, construct key exchange mechanisms. So you generally want to use that, but I want to do this manually so I actually know what I, what's going on. So if I uh, double check on if the Elm and the exchange, basically what I'm trying to do is this but the so alice has the private key and their pot uh, and bob's public key you can find the keys you get the shared key and the same thing going the other way for the other side so i can create the exchange keys but i need to exchange the public keys and then do well, no basically where it says the key diffie hellman key exchange to create shared equal keys so what i see here is okay so they're doing something a, a little bit extra so they're creating the shared key and then they're also like hashing it a couple times many p n pairs produce the same result using the output of the multiplication queue directly as shared key is not recommended so what's going on here they ran out so th they create the key so they got they create the two sets of keys i can create keys that's fine and then They do this scalar mult. So the 
local private key, the others public key by whatever this is. Scalar multiple Q. What's this? Oh, that's the output. So that's the output. That's that's the shared key. That's the shared key. And then here they do the hashing with the both public keys in the same order, I would presume, to create the actual final shared key. So I need basically to basically recreate this so that I can, okay, so I need it. So this is how I'm going to have to do a key exchange. And fantastic. Let me put that off to the side. So, uh, do key exchange. Uh, perform key exchange uh, for ED25519. So it's, in this case, it is against that curve. Okay, for, okay, first iteration, I'm just going to get a shared key by using this. And then later, what I'm going to do is add the extra hashes on top. So local private key, that shared key, both key, star key, shared key. Like that. So I need uh, shared key data. There's that. That result set. All right. If crypto scalar mold curve so that so that's what the point of the base was the base was to generate the private public key like that and then this one down here is to create the shared key so that's uh shared key data this is the private key so folk crypto get key data for the private key got the public key there <sighs> if uh, this is not equal zero then result equals to well, result well, crypto error um the exchange failed go to that which will be down here key exchange failed so we've got the sodium mem zero. That if result that equals that. Oh, maybe I want to like also zero that out after i do this bit so that you can't even get mm, yeah um just the handles
Okay. <clears throat> Else uh, that we destroy the key. results. Something like that. Uh, so I did the key exchange. At this point, I would be doing result equals go crypto. Create key. So it's the size of this. Do that. I need to create this. I need to add this as another result. So right now, I just want to make sure that hey, can I actually do the key exchange? Does key exchange work as I suspect it will? Then I need to add um, hash a shared key. I need to do that. But first off. I need to test that key is actually going to work. And okay, so that that's enough drudgery. So that should work. So here's a test. First off, you create the exchange key pair. One key uh, exchange key pair. Blah, blah, blah. You make sure, hey, it's not null. Hey, it's the right size. So that, um, Oh, yeah, I added that. So now we have a definer. Like we need to know how big this is supposed to be going in. I'll also probably need to add some static asserts in here to make that sure that works. Um, then you create a second uh, the exchange key pair. Make sure the same kind of thing. Then you perform the key exchange both ways. So performing key exchange. So private key. So local private key, remote public key. Thing, same thing going the other way. Make sure that they are both the same. So let's run that. And it appears to be mem compare is correct. Okay, so now I have a key exchange. That is fantastic. Let me make sure I have mem zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes and yes. Wait, hold on. No. Shared key. So no one can even like, only the person or the function or wherever this is knows about it. You can't even check the memory from the stack if, uh, or this after this point. Okay. Signing key pair. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. I need to go through the uh, documentation to find where exactly how this is supposed to work. So bear with me a moment. Or actually, before I uh, forget, I should actually perform the uh, proper key exchange. So <clears throat> I don't know, based on these two, what side of the key exchange I am. So I need to do the hashing. So what I need to do is I would need to do go crypto key hash key one hash key two something like that. So I need to have these two extra things because I don't think I can like do a hash like in the in reversing order of the public keys. So I can't just do like you know local private remote public. And then key two, and they do like re remote public and that because hashing no hashing has to be done in the same in the same order. Right? I'm pretty sure, anyways. 
If I check that, let me double check this. Um, client, client. Yeah, it has to be in the same order. Even if this is kind of reversed. Yeah. So I need to do hash key one, hash key two. So. Uh, generic hash. Uh, I'll just kind of do that, I guess. I need uh, generic hash stuff, don't I? That's that. Nope, not quite here. Here it is. Okay, so I've got the hash date. Generic hash in it. So right now I'm basically following exactly along these lines. I'm pretty sure. Just I'm just going to follow these. So got that. Uh, hash state. We initialize that. We got uh, no key to start with. There's no key to start with. Uh, the size of that is the output we want. No, hold on. Oh, yeah. No, that was it right there. That. Okay. We update with the hash state. Going to have the shared key data. So obviously this actually has to happen first. Shared key data. This then also needs to be uh, before the first go to. So a shared key data times the size of key data, which is that. One and two, and then two. I would also need to like. So what I'm going to have to also have to at the beginning of this is I'm going to have to like I do an you know do a check like is key the right size is key right size. Make sure these are all the right size of thirty two bytes. Uh, big and then crypto generic hash. Finalize and hash state. We output to the shared. I mean, I I just may as well just reuse it. Just times this size. So I need to make sure that this is still going to... Nope, not quite. All right, I'm missing the, uh, the keys. Hash key one, hash key two. And here I would need to provide the keys in the same order. So we'll just say exchange public key. Second exchange public key. Since we'll have both public keys anyways at this point. Like that. Yes, they match. And I just want to make sure in the code that I have the shared key data, which is 1464247. Make sure that changes up. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, now back to the signing key pairs. So I need to do, uh, I need a couple extra functions to go along with this. So we have, of course, creating a 
of the signed key pair. But I also need to sign get. What what's the nomenclature for this? Oh, crypto sign message sign sign get message get message. Uh, because what I want to do is like the signing is separate. Like the, the message stays the, the same. You're just signing it. You're just saying, "Hey, that this is matches based on my private key." So it'll be like an extra 64 bits bytes that you put somewhere, which can be part of the same message at the end. Ooh, wait, does signing, does signing actually, I don't know if signing includes, no, no, the sign, the signature can't include the, the actual like signature at the end of the message as well, right? No, 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 that can't be it. Okay. Oh, crypto, gee, that'd be silly. So we got the key. Key. Data. Key message. Just data. Data signature. Not necessarily a message. It's just data. It's just data. Size T. Data size. Void star P signature size T signature size. I'll have to verify that that's correct. And then we'll have the opposite side where we go oh, crypto data verify data. Verify signature. Something like that. So T data size T data size void const star T signature size T signature size uh, and then I'll oh, wait I will set this like because it's a signature based on ED whatever it's like that okay so we need a couple extra bits. And including the original signing keys. So we'll kind of like put these at the bottom here. Okay, to begin with, I first still need the signing keys. So let me do this. Static assert. I need to ensure that I need, okay, I need some extra um, defines up here. Oh, crypto. ED25519. Signing private key size. Pretty sure. Or these different? They, I think they're different. Hold on. Um, eight underscore T private T data. Wow, can I not type today? Crypto sign ED. Secret key bytes. Signature secret key. Sign okay, so this is what? This is 64. Okay, all right. What about? Crypto sign. ED25519. Public key bytes. Is this 64 as well? No, it's 32. Okay, so they are different. Um...
public key size is 64, private, okay. So this is, uh, okay, do I need, is this, well, this was the exchange, right? Scalar Molt. Yes, yeah, Scalar Multiple is the exchange set. So this would be, what, if, fine, ED25519 key pair. Okay, I can just do with the private and public key. What what on earth was I doing with this other thing? Seed key pair. Do I like have an extra seed I can do? <sighs> hmm. Okay, public key signatures. So what I'm looking for looking at is this. The example. So I'm of course I'm changing out the genericness for the ED25519 Edwards. But like there's no generation of hold on. Did I have to generate? Yeah, I had to generate random bytes for the secret key, the scalar mold, but not for this this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Signing in the verify. That's what I'll do later. Okay. Message, message. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I don't need that. I could just do this. Private key. Public key. I need to make sure this is not equal to zero. Otherwise, then we need to. Um, failed to generate keys, uh, signing key pair. Something like that. So we'll have something like this down here. So kind of similar deal to this. Basically the same deal as that. I don't need the generator end data. I also don't need to do this stuff anymore. Like I'll I'll do a static assert up here. Check that. So scrap all that. I just need to do the this bit where I just create the keys. Which is hold on. Public key. Bytes versus secret key bytes. Secret key bytes, public key bytes. And mem zero. And then we get down to the here. Okay. So signature. I would add the stuff which says hey you know the verify key sizes and signature size and all that make sure that the correct and then it would roll down into sign detach
it will sign it will sign it regardless and i will i would have verified the key the key size the signature size and the data size so then yeah yeah do this and it would be just like go sign ed2519 be patched so the signature is p signature signature length is signature size hold on what's the size of this supposed to be thanks for not letting me know <laughs> Even though you had it a moment ago. Unsigned long long. I'd want to make sure that this is a sign size. Equals signature size. I want to make sure I would have to assert that this is the correct size afterwards. Yeah, thanks for complaining. Uh, the message, so P data, data size, and the secret key, private key. From the private key. Okay, we do that, assert that, return to pro result. Post no success. Then I would want to sign data, verify data like that. That makes a bit more sense. So at this point, I would basically do the same thing. I need to make sure that the public key, which it is separate, the public key, data size, signature. I need to do the opposite. So if crypto sign ED5519 uh, verify, detached, so we've got the signature, P signature, message, data size, and then the public key. Get key data. Not equal to zero, then I would have to return something that basically says, hey, signature failed. to verify data something like that otherwise it would it would return this okay so now i need to actually uh create test case for testing set uh edwards 25519 signatures so let me do that in a very boring way Okay, and there it is. So for the signing and verifying, same thing as before. Private, uh, we create the private and public key. Uh, I perform a signature. So I create a signature buffer, which is of a uh, new type, a new uh, definition size, which is that, 64 apparently. I create, a, I sign the, I uh, create a data signature <clears throat> with the private key, with the data, which is now the lorem ipsum string that I'm going to be adding and reusing further in the files so the the data the data size the signature buffer the signature buffer size of 64 uh, verify that it, it is signature buffer for the specific data with the with the correct key is correct and then i also try with an invalid key which is which fails as expected it fails to verify data and it all works wonderfully so perfect 
Um, so at this point, all I would have to do offline is just start adding. I need to do the static search to make sure that the sizes of the key types are correct with what I define up here. And I need to make sure like the sizes of the keys that I pass into these things are correct as well. Yeah. And so I guess that's pretty much what I had. I'll leave it at that. That's all I wanted to do today. I got a generic, a, a new, better, more generic, but more useful key type. So you can delete and destroy keys as, as you need or want. So like after the Diffie Hellman key exchange, you no longer need the private key or even the original public key. No, you don't need that either. So you can, you, so yeah, you can destroy both of these keys because all you need is a shared key after that point. And a bunch of other things. Yeah. So, and I got the signature and key exchange actually working and verified to be working through some tests, which I'll expand upon basically shortly. Uh, so I'm not, I'm still not sure if I want to actually change these to actually use the new key types, just leave them like this. I'll figure that out. But until that, yeah, whatever I figure out next time, either that or I'll kind of move on to like starting to use encryption, uh, do a connection, like uh, actually like challenge, request, generate connection and start encrypting a connection and doing uh, stuff. Stop. Until next time, cheers, basically.